Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, I cannot remember what we did because it's been a while since I've been recording. We've been doing a lot of satisfactory and it has been so good. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I keep looking. That's like, what's wrong with that wall there? Um, we have some issues, I think. Um, I was debating going and killing some of these biter nests with our newly minted lasers, but um, there are some more valuable things that we can do here. And what I want to do is actually set up a proper solar panel, um, several arrays in this area. Are those cliffs? Really? Okay. When, yeah, let's see. The first thing we're going to do is set up cliff explosives. And then we're going to get some bots delivering um, uh, solar panels to arrays. Because we have a very a brand new array that I would really like to use. But first I want to get some laser turrets in the inventory. Uh, just in case we want to replace some. Uh, or if we see some biters around the place. Now then, uh, I want to make the cliff explosives. So I want to, let's go to our oil area. That's where I usually make them. I think we need barrels though, don't we? Uh, so I want to figure out, let's see, how is this working here? We do have iron coming in. So what I usually do, I sneak them in. I sneak those darn barrels in by putting a local smelter um, in that area. So that's what we're going to do. Do we have any research that we can do? Nope. We really need blue science. So that is one of the next things I'm going to do. A lot of people have been asking me for blueprints for science and all that stuff. I'm going to be building them as I go in the game. But I don't know if I'm going to offer the game blueprints or just like, you know, uh, make them a little bit better on my own, like optimize them better and then offer those as blueprints. That probably is what's going to happen uh, because there's always things that you find off of, um, uh, you know, off of YouTube and stuff like that. So anyway, they are coming, but they will be built in the series. So then we have stuff. We don't have cracking yet, but that's fine. Let's just check the recipe for the cliff explosives, which are somewhere. It's easier to do it this way. Okay. Explosives, empty barrels and grenades. So we need some steel, um, and then iron and coal and explosives. So let's figure out how to make explosives. That's coal, sulfur, and water. So I think we can make them in this line with a sulfuric acid. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. We have the, uh, the iron here. We also have coal, which can come in right here. Let's go and split this off and take the coal up this way. Very nice. All right, so we can have these things being made very easily. Of course, I don't have any of these. How nice. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another thing you forget, you know? But it's okay. It's fine. Do we have any robots? I was thinking about just, like, getting a roboport, plopping it down, and then let bots take care of stuff. Do we have a roboport in our... No, we don't. Can I make a personal roboport? No, I think it requires blue science, doesn't it? Belt immunity. No, no. I can make shields, but who needs shields when you can have robots? They will defend me to the death and they do die. It's okay. It's a thing they do. All right, let's go down here and pick up the green circuits, vacuum up green circuits. All right, this is very silly of me to have to do this, but it'll be fine. Do we need anything else? Um... We have pipes, we have assemblers. Do we have any furnaces? That's a good question. We have 70 furnaces. We should be fine. Okay, let's just take these. Thank you very much. Good, good, good. Thank you, autosave. Yeah, ever since I got an auto, uh, uh, an SSD in my uh, new computer, it's like, wow. <laughs> How did I ever play without this? It's nice. If you ever have the chance to get one, it's highly recommended. It's very, very nice. Uh, anyway, but autosave is no longer like high autosave. I barely even notice it now. Okay, we need some lights around here. I should plop some down as I'm walking because it is very dark. And I have bent to put them down. I just kind of like forget about them. And it's like, ah, it's fine. It's not that dark. But yeah, it is that dark. Really, it is. 
Uh, okay, let's go up here. We decided up here is a good place to go. And we'll get our um, thingy majingies made. All right, we need sulfur. Well, so, so for this, we need sulfur crystals, coal, and water. Okay, that's fine. So we'll get our sulfur here. And then explosives here. How many does it need? One sulfur, that's fine. So what we should do is put this one here, put the sulfur over there, and get another one of these guys over there. Copy and paste. So this sulfur, I think it does two sulfur per second yes it does all right and these take four seconds so this is overkill as it is already but um we're gonna be quite happy with this situation oh hello nice that one goes there and then this one is the petroleum that goes in there nice all right let's get these connected up to the power grid let's just put this one over there All right, so this needs sulfur. So we need to get our inserters. Actually, we could use plain inserters here. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. All right, they need petroleum. We're short on petroleum, really? Wow, that's not ideal. Oh, these are full again? Oh dear, dear, dear me. Yeah, it's because we have way too much um, solid fuel because we don't have cracking yet this is the problem with um <laughs> with too many biters it's okay though we will get there i promise uh let's we can make two more tanks it's not great not a great way to solve this problem but it is a way that we're gonna do right now because we need more petroleum we really really need blue science and i think we need to probably get that within the next episode or two, because I've been kind of, uh, huh. yeah, it's fine. No, it's fine. Okay. Coal. Let's get coal. These are every four seconds. Oh, that's plenty. All right. And you don't need anything. That's great. So now probably I can just do the, no, nope, I don't want to do that because it'll in impact the plastic. But what I can do is this. Yay. All right. Great. And these are going to go into a plant making the cliff explosives. Or is it an assembler? It might be an assembler. How interesting. Didn't remember that. Cliff explosives. Great. Okay. So they need grenades and they need empty barrels. So let's make grenades here. All right. You make grenades. I think grenades take like eight seconds or something. Yes, they do. Ten coal and iron plates. How long do cliff explosives take? Eight seconds. Hey, that's great. Okay, cool. Um, and then we'll have barrels coming in here or being made here, I should say. Uh, they are there. Good. They just need some steel to happen for those guys. So we're just going to have one little steel plant going in there. These will go this way. That goes there. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so you take that and that. And this one needs this one. Whoopsies. Uh, no, wait, do they need coal? No, no, silly me. No, 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 no. How could I think that? It's not even a thing. I should not connect them that way. It looks silly. There we go. Nice. So these need one steel for each barrel. I don't know if it's worth actually making more than one or not. What do you need? You need plates. Oh, right. Okay, and then these will go into a box here. Let's see, iron chest. We'll make like four stacks or something like that. I think that should be enough. All right, there we go. Our first cliff explosives are getting made. This is great. This is really good. I don't know, I wish, one thing that I wish about furnaces is I wish it told us how long it takes. Oh, it does tell you. Oh. I never seen I don't know if that's new or if it maybe it always told us I learned something new today it's always a good day when you learn something new about Factorio you would think that I know like 
tons about the game, and I do, but I don't know everything, and it's kind of cool to find out something new. Uh, in fact, it's awesome to find out something new. This is great. All right, I have two cliff explosives now. Life is better, clearly. <laughs> this is good. Oh, I know what I can do here. I can sneak this, and I can get a regular inserter. Hello, make one, please. Good. And then we'll do the sneaky thing of loading on the near side of the belt. So that we have extra explosives just in case we need them for something else. Not sure what at this point, but it could be something cool. You never can tell. Put it light there. Aha, and we have stuff. Wow, we have five cliff explosives. We will use them very sparingly, I'm quite sure. Um, right, so we have this solid fuel on a belt. I'm thinking that could be really good used in the steam engines which we need to turn off if they're not in use let's see do we have our power grid well we need to i think we need to consult a power pole to find out about the power here all right we're using um let's see about a third of our production uh right now so i want to shut off the steam engines to see uh no, it looks like we still need uh, the the solar panels, so we can't shut off steam just yet. Definitely not. But we can tell robots to go and fix it for us. All right, we need to get provider chests made, uh, and then we also need to get the robo ports uh, moved along as well. Because we are going to do some cool stuff in just a second. Oh, yes. We need to see if we have radars. Oh, my God. There they are. There are the radars. We didn't make the chests in the mall yet. That's unfortunate. Can we make more of these things? We just need steel. Okay, we have steel. It's all over the place. There we go. All right, we can make more. Uh, and I want to get these beautiful red... Um, passive providers here. I love passive provider chests. They're good. We're also going to put them on the uh, repair kits. What else do we need for the solar array? I'm not going to put everything in these providers just because we don't have enough of them. Oh, the plastic is suffering badly. Ugh. But these guys we do. We want all of those in providers. How are we doing over here? Can I request bots to be my personal slaves yet? Hello. Greetings, bots. Do we have stuff? We do. We have lodgy bots and we have some construction bots. I'm going to steal a stack of them for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to place uh, solar panel thingy majingies out here. But we definitely need. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. Oh. <gasps> We have cliff explosives, <laughs> but they're not in a box. Oh no! Aha! We'll 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 get this going. I promise. This is gonna be a thing. This has got to be a thing. Let's see if we can connect this up to actual power. There we go. Now it is powered. I feel like I should make these boxes right now. I really feel like it's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and make them. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Hello. There you go. I want you to place assemblers. I'm running out of boxes. Running out of chests. It's sad. It's a very sad thing. There they go. There they go. They're going to place stuff. They're going to place stuff. They're going to place things and stuff. All the things and all the stuff. A life shall be better. Let's get this as well. Look at this. They're placing all the things. It is lovely. The only thing that they're not going to place probably is power poles. So what I could do is I could put the power poles like in this chest, for example, and just like chunk a whole bunch of them in here, especially the wooden ones that we're not actually using anymore. Uh, and then they're going to be able to just place them down as they... Oh, doesn't that just sort of tickle your insides in a very nice way? I love it. Just like watching the bots. Oh, they're so good. They're so fun. 
All right, what do we need again for this? Steel. All right, let's go get steel. Oh, I really don't want to grab all that copper on the way. It's kind of annoying. Do, is this an issue? Yes, it is. It's getting the wrong thing. Oh, oh yes, that's because, um, oh dear. We're, we might be having some slight issues here. No, 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 no. Nope. All right, you go this way. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, this is where I want to use my first cliff explosive. Right there. Boom. Oh, that was good. That was very satisfying. Shove this this way. Wow, that's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Uh, all right, we're going to use these furnaces here. Because why not? It's great, great. Oh, I need inserters. Hello, inserters. I need to get 50 of these. Let's get 50 of those guys. Let's get maintain... I don't know what else we need. Power poles, probably. 50. Um, these. Let's have belts at like 400. And then we'll have splitters and undergroundies. There we go. I think that's all I want at the moment. Yeah. Oh my god, they're building the mall. The world is lovely now. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I get kind of excited about this. Sorry, this is very fun. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, this is so nice. All right, and we'll we'll put boxes on all the other things. So all the things can be transferred and all the stuff can happen. And life is going to be so beautiful. Here, you can have that one too. Box for lights. We got the splitters going. We need a box for boxes as well. Um, that's steel boxes, I think. Oh, this is wrong. Oh dear. This is not correct. What's going on with this? Because this is supposed to be able to put these boxes over here. I I did something bad. Bad, bad. No, no. No, no. Something is wrong here. Oh. I wonder. I need to look at this blueprint. Because that's not right. This is supposed to only have steel coming off of it. Okay, so we may have a potential flaw in the mall. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, no. Go away, thing. This needs to have output l l left, yes, to steel. Okay, and the reason I do two splitters is very specific. If I do steel on this one, all of the steel will go here. So I don't want that, definitely don't want that. So we have to split it and then it will use the steel. This is what I wanted, actually. So something got, went wonky with this. I don't know if it was not reserved. I don't know. I have to find that out. That's really bad. Um, I'll fix it, though. I'll fix the blueprint um, in the drive, of course. It will be there. Now then, we need to put these guys in a chest. Basically, everything needs to go in a chest now. So, let's get stuff done. Oh, this is great. I'm excited by this. Oops, we need more of those, though. Ah, we have more. Yay. Seven passive provider chests. Oh, yes. Just putting everything there that we need. These guys. Wow, we can now request all the things. Life is better. Oh, this is very good. Okay, now then. Um, I need storage chests as well to get rid of the garbage in the inventory. We're not going to set up recycling at this moment, but we will very shortly. It will be okay. Um, at the moment, I want to put a few of these guys here. Not many, but you see we do have some stuff that has been collected. They also haven't collected anything from me, and I'm quite surprised about this. But I want to get 
uh, junk out of my inventory and into there. Let's go ahead and put the plastic as well. Kind of like distribute it in these machines. Because they're running really low on that. And I want to go up right now to probably get... Let's see if we have enough roboports. We have 21 roboports. I think... Let's see. I want to get some of this pipes. But in general, I'm going to take wooden power poles off my hotbar. Uh, all right, let's go to see how the roboports connect. So we can put one here. I guess I want to go all the way. Huh. This is not advisable, probably, but that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. Take this one there. I, I wish it would just connect. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Um, it's going to be very sloppy, but it's okay. It's just, you know, just getting from here to there. I take this up to oil because I want cliff explosives to be on the menu of what robots will come and collect. So... Love just being able to grab and drag and call it good and life is better. So let's take this down here. It doesn't need to go up that far, actually. But yeah, it would be really nice if we could just get everything that we need. And we will. It's going to be great. Okay, this is actually a decent spot to put things. Oh, and look at the construction area. This is actually quite nice because if we want to expand this, we can just have robots do it for us. Okay, here we have this nice 48. Kaboom is what the answer to that is. Oh, yes. All right. Um, let's get our power pole here. So if we want to quickly add something like a tank, for example, all we have to do is just build one from goddess mode otherwise known as pressing m and you can just place one down so i can just do this and have these placed by robots there we go it's kind of a stretch to have that many but that's okay we'll get to it and now the robots are going to go get tanks from the mall and get stuff organized oh they're picking up the old stuff there that's nice I love goddess mode. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, otherwise known as map mode. Whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side of the factory where we place down roboports uh, to get to where I want to place these solar arrays, which is kind of over here um, and slightly um, in the way of the cliff explosives, shall we say. <laughs> yes. Now then, we do have plenty of solar panels. I checked uh, before I started the episode, so this is going to be great. We do want to get rid of these things. Because we want our solar panels to succeed and do well. Okay, there's some issues over there. There's a little bit of landfill that could be done as well. Um, but I... Nowadays, robots can also use the cliff explosives, which is kind of exciting. I have to admit, it's like, wow, all right, neat. Uh, all right, roboport. Now, this is going to be the tricky bit, is getting up here. And ah, I should just place it myself. Hello. There we go. Yep. Just connect that that way. And then we need to figure out the best way. Let's see. Can we go in map mode here? Yeah, we can. Kind of want to go to the left and start placing stuff. And then we'll kind of figure out how we want to go with stuff here. I don't want to do too many power poles because then it's going to get messed up. Now, the blueprint we're going to use is the solar array made by Avon. He decided he wanted a better array and he just came up with this design. It is really fabulous. It's quite good. It's 
almost the exact ratio. The correct ratio is 0.84. And I don't think I've ever seen one at actual 0.84. This one is 0.837, which is really cool. And it fills up the entire construction area of uh, the RoboPort and leaves one tile on the side for walking space. I think we're going to put it starting like down here. That leaves enough room with that lake over there. And the cool thing is, is you can rotate them to be like in a cross uh, design, which is really neat. Go. We can do this. I'm kind of curious why it's not showing me the RoboPort uh, things, but anyway, it is good. Unless I'm just not seeing them. Those are the power line things. Okay, and we'll just make sure that these guys connect. Uh, well, I think we'll place them down. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I've already messed it up. Hello, brain. Do it again. Will this connect? Okay, no. They're, they're, they need to be um, the other way around, I think. Okay, so let's just delete these guys. Delete that one. And I think they have to be closer. There we go. So let's see if that one works like this. Ah, yes. Okay, so if you rotate them, they just need to be really close. There we go. Nice. Whoopsies, there we go. So it's in this shape of a cross, which kind of like reminds me of either medical something or like uh, batteries charging, you know, positive and negative side, that kind of thing. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. But anyway, there are this really nice blueprint. So uh, I will uh, link to that in the um, description below if you would like to use that. Um, let's see. Um, I would really like another blueprint. Oh, I'm going to try something. So if you do an empty blueprint, press Q, does it end up here? No. I think if you blueprint something and then press Q. Q. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. So it used to not work. That's really good that it does work. I like this idea. All right. So let's blueprint the entire structure. And now we have a little bit of space to walk through. We can do two tiles here one two put that one there and this is getting close to where we had our oh wow there's our power pole here oh this is great this is nice okay i don't know if we're gonna put anything here we might i don't remember if we had plans for that area or not to be honest okay let's get rid of this one i think we're just gonna use the big cross now uh, for stuff. Oh, we can't fit it. All right, that's fine. But we can use the little one uh, for the little extra bits on the side here. Let's see, that one would go like this-ish. Okay. And then this one would be fancy like that. Oh, wait, this one's out of alignment. Can't have that. Oh, no. Not that it really matters, to be honest. But. Okay, solar array. Let's go back. There it is. Okay. Nice. All right, and just a little bit of walking space. That is actually almost perfect. So this is great. This is working really well. Um, let's see. Now, this thing is not actually connected to those RoboPorts. So let's put a RoboPort up here just to connect everything and make everything better. We do need to start making substations. And let's go and look in the mall and see if that is the case, if they're being made or not. Oh, having robots is so nice, especially constructing the mall. Life is clearly better. We might need to replop the mall blueprint. So I want to do that real quick. There we have our mall. 
I also need to to design the upgraded version of them all because we are getting there. We are actually getting there soon. Um, do I not have substations? I must have them, I think. Do I have them? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, really, blue science? <laughs> Well, it looks like we need blue science because all of these solar arrays are basically wasted because they all rely on having substations. Oh, gee, this is rough. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's rough. All right. Well, I guess we have to give up there for now. I think the next episode should be titled blue science. Oh, ooh, 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 we need to connect this as well. I didn't even see this here. Okay, that's good. Now that we can we can actually have a connected... Oh, wow, they're all coming back. That's interesting. I wonder if any of them are going to visit, like, the... Uh, there's some doing stuff. I was wondering if anyone were taking the cliff explosives. Oh, those are the ones that were grabbing the stuff. <gasps> no! Oh, this is just out of range. Okay. All right, all right. Th this is really sneaky. Okay, let's ghost print that. And ghost print a power pole next to it from goddess mode, clearly. Uh, and th those should get placed down as well, and so we'll have a little bit more plastic. But yes, blue science, advanced oil processing, cracking, so we can finally get stuff made the way we want to. Anyway, it's been great though, but look at how much stuff where the robots are grabbing from the chests. This is pretty awesome. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.